Hi, Ross and Anthony here from RingGeek.com. We're going to show you how to build a somewhat, in our case, supercomputer on a budget. Now, I don't know about Anthony, but, well, he doesn't either, but I don't like to go to Dell, Gateway, or, or, or HP, or Walmart, anywhere, unless it's real cheap at Walmart. Yeah. Unless you're getting a laptop. But a desktop computer, that, which we built, we're going to show you, we have the receipt. We spent $817.12 right here, Tiger Direct. We walked into the Tiger store in West Palm Beach and built a computer. So it's pretty easy, wasn't it, Anthony? Yeah, it was. It wasn't bad. We, uh, it was a little, little uh, questionable on the processor. It was you know, a little nerve-wracking. But other than that, um, just getting the board into the case, make sure you're careful. Um, but besides that, that's about it. It was, it was pretty really basic. Easy. How many computers have you ever built in your life? I've actually, I've helped my friend build like one, but it wasn't even, I only put in like the video card and we put in the, uh, so, the DVD writer. So, so this was a basically overall Yeah, this simple. was my first computer really that pretty I built simple. and it was real simple. So. And this is my like third and I, we do, I'm a software guy and this was easy. It's a piece of cake. Um, we have the, let's go ahead and start off with the case. Show yeah. me the case, Anthony. So we got the case here. We got the. Uh, so is this a high end case or is this just a low end? It was. It was pretty medium. Um, the case was. What kind of case? How much was the case? It was like sixty bucks, sixty five bucks, seventy bucks. Yeah, uh, it's a Cooler Master. Cooler Master. Cooler. Lead. Okay. And uh, it actually Cooler has, Master. It has a uh, hot swap drive for the hard drive, and we actually uh, we had to take that out. Because when we put in a new hard drive, it actually fried the hard drive. It cooked one of the hard drives, but yeah. don't let that bother you because usually the cases don't come with this feature. Yeah. A little swappable hard drive it doesn't come with that, so... And we it, think it was just a manufacturing defect. Yeah, it was a manufacturing defect, so... No. So it's not a normal thing to happen. But yeah. Overall, it's a good case. I'm yeah, pretty happy with it. It's a good case. It has a see-through side. So see-through side, you know, nice. just basically... Um, so Let's go with, what do we have? The motherboard, the main motherboard. What are you yeah. going to get for a motherboard? The motherboard, we, uh, we picked out the uh, MSI Z87 G45. It's, uh, it's a pretty nice gaming motherboard, but we don't really need it for gaming. We need it more for, because uh, he runs a, a, a computer software. Uh, Ringageek.com. Yeah, he runs Ringageek.com. Don't freak, Ringageek. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so he goes in and... Uh, repairs computers remotely, so he needs a good motherboard, and uh, we actually took a gaming motherboard, so that it would work really well. Yeah, great. a little gaming, and it works with the i5 and i7 processor, so yeah. we can upgrade. We got, what did we get for the processor? We, we actually got, got a, uh, we, we went monster, we went with a monster processor, yeah. we did not go cheap on a processor. Yeah, we actually got a, a fourth gen i5 processor, it's a, uh, fourth it's gen? A 4670K, and uh, it's really nice. It ru it runs really fast, and um, this was two thirty four. And the two hundred thirty four dollars. The motherboard was how much? One fifty. Yeah. Buck fifty for the motherboard. Two two thirty five for the processor. Yeah. Let's check the video card out. We so have a, we have the uh, a dual digital output um, and a mini HDMI. Uh, it's a GeForce GT six forty. Hundred bucks. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Um, it does what it needs to. Uh, it's got I think two gigs of RAM. So it's not slowing down DDR3. anything. Yeah, DDR3 RAM. So cool. it's very nice, very nice, and the the sound is nice too. And what do we have for the RAM, the memory? The actual RAM that we put into the motherboard. We have uh, eight gigs of DDR3 RAM, and uh, it actually it works pretty well. But the the motherboard is expandable to up to I think 32 gigs if we have eight gig chips. So so we can put 32 gigs yeah, of can, RAM in that board. 32 later? gigs of RAM. Yeah. It's a lot of memory, guys. Yeah. What do we get for a hard drive? So uh, the hard drive we have is standard. Uh, yes, just a normal one terabyte hard drive. Nothing special. Yeah, WD, whatever, Western. Ooh, digital. Western Digital Action. Yeah. Cheap. What was the hard drive? Hard drive. I have no idea. Uh, Sixty. Sixty-nine. Sixty. Fifty-nine bucks. Yeah. Sixty-nine bucks. Sixty. So. What do you suggest for uh, po uh, some power for this power? Yeah, plant? we have a Thermal Take uh, Smart. Smart 650 watt uh, power supply, just normal, nothing special. Nothing special. It doesn't really need to do much. The only thing that uh, was kind of frustrating with this is the cords that have to come from the power supply, they're not removable, so 
Yeah, they're not removing the clutter in the in the case. But clutter, case clutter is a big thing with me. I'm not a clutter guy. Yeah. And I'm, if, if I would went back, I would have got a removable plugs out of the power supply yeah. so you can throw the excess wires that you don't need. Yeah. Or it, just swap them in, you know, whatever. But swap them. It, it's a lot easier. That yeah. power supply, it works. It does the job. It's a 650. It's going to crank that big processor. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah. It's so, nothing special, right? No, nothing. 69 bucks, guys. Yep. What do we got? Cheap, cheap DVD burner. Really DVD. easy DVD player, burner, writer. LG, um, junk, LG, 25 bucks. Whatever. Nothing big. Who uses CDs anymore? Who burns DVDs? Not me. Exactly. I mean, actually, we were going through the uh, we were going through the video and editing, and we noticed while we were trying to put all the specs up on the screen that this little drive here didn't actually get charged. We have eight items on the list. Wait a minute, you're saying Tiger Direct forgot to charge us when we went through the register? Yeah, yeah. She Let me look at that. I don't believe you. Some lady, she must have forgot. Yeah. Okay, well. She didn't notice. Okay, well, hey, shh, shh. I'll say nothing. Don't tell anybody. I don't know why it's in there. It's, I put it in there for looks, basically. That's yeah. about it. And then extra, uh, we got an extra 120 watt fan. Um, and it's got 15 decibels, which makes it really, really quiet, and it's actually LED blue because it matches the LED blue case. So, um, you know, it's only a fan. It was yeah. 11 bucks, but you know what? It's a it quiet helps. fan, and it doesn't sound like an airplane taking off on your desk. It helps a lot. How quiet is this computer? It cools it off. Uh, the computer itself is, is whisper quiet. It's you so don't quiet. even hear it running, do you? Uh, you don't, actually. I, I have it right here in my face. I don't hear it running on my yeah, desk. So. It's so quiet. That's really good. That's that's about all. I mean, have you covered everything, Anthony? Yep, that's about I it. I mean, you know, here you go. $817. Got the receipt to prove it. TigerDirect.com. Um, I would definitely do this again. It was easy, easy, easy. Super easy. Super easy. The only hard part that I think that was a little tricky was getting the board onto the into the case. Yeah. Because you got to use the lifters, the little yeah, brass the things they give you. We really forgot to use the tool. We didn't use a tool. Little it comes with a little tool and the motherboard. So we ended up using a, a wrench. Yeah. So it was kind of it was silly, but was overall, a little... couple hours. I would say to do it right about three hours. Yeah. And a pro would, pros are going to be laughing at us and saying we can get it done in a half hour, but. You know, we'd like to take our time. We had a day off. We saved ourselves a hundred bucks from Tiger Direct. Yeah, Tiger Direct went at hundred bucks. We saved ourselves a hundred bucks, and uh, yeah. and maybe another trip down forty-five minutes because if that thing would have would have caught on fire, we would have went back. Yeah, like what you exactly. did, almost catch on, almost catch yeah. on fire. That little drive thing, we don't care about. So yeah. Well, that's about it. Um, we're about done. We're it. That's it. Well, actually, actually, we're, we're what we're gonna do? We're gonna show you the computer. In, uh, in its little native setup. Maybe we'll open up Photoshop and Outlook real quick. We'll see how fast it snaps open. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll give you a little tour. Actual computer. All right, guys, so we got the actual computer down here, and uh, we actually have a, uh, a battery backup for if the power flickers, because that happens a lot. And it, uh, That's a real good idea, especially when we're in Florida. Yeah, in okay. Florida it happens frequently. So. And really, anywhere you are, don't go cheap on a battery backup. Yeah. Spend the money, because you're going to have it for four years. You replace the batteries and have it for another four years, eight years. Exactly, exactly. You can get good use out of it, just like this computer. So we're going to uh, take it over here. All right, so right here we got... Uh, we're going to open Photoshop 7.0. It's an older version, yeah, right? Yeah, older version of Photoshop, but still pretty heavy it's on the not, processor. It's heavy, but it's not in the RAM yet. It's no. a fresh boot. Yep. Click it now, yep. and you got it now. And it's already done. There you go. That's done. Photoshop for you guys. Quick. Super that, quick. That wasn't even in the memory. I just yeah. booted a computer. Open up uh, Sony Vegas. Show okay, them how what, Sony Vegas is. Sony Vegas? What about Outlook? Oh, yeah. Outlook, Outlook sure. click, click, done. Yep. Minus that, we'll even keep Outlook open. Dreamweaver, MX, bam. One, two, done. Yep. We, I'll even keep that open. We'll work this processor. What else we have? Sony Vegas? What Try Sony Vegas, about? yeah. Just open that up real quick. And you know this is a monster program, right? Yeah, super fast. We got One, Sony Vegas 12 just Pro. just clicked it. We got it. Open. Open, done. So, there you go, guys. Quick little, uh, quick little speed test for you uh, to show you how quick everything works. It, uh, it fires, guys. Okay, we're back. We're going to scan this in on the side of the video for you, actual yeah. receipt to prove it. And uh, we, one more thing about the price I want to put in, Anthony. Do you think the average person should spend $800 building a computer? Or do you think they should go to Dell, HP, and, and just buy their own, put together, and forget about all the worries and headaches and mixed match problems, and just get all the junk they put in from other manufacturers and just whatever they get the cheapest? You know well, saying? I think that the best idea is to, uh, if you're going to use your computer a lot and you want to get some good usage, some speedy usage out of it, for uh, a certain amount of time, you know, three, four, five years even, 
uh, the best idea is to spend the money to invest in that computer because it's going to pay off. And it's going to last you as long as you get the, the right stuff, especially the stuff that we talked about in the video. Uh, we made sure that we picked out some, some great, some great uh, software and hardware for this computer. I would say I'm real happy, super happy. Super duper. So that's about it. Hey guys, don't freak, ring a geek. And, make sure you uh, guys call. Yeah, make sure you share and like this video. Yep. Have a good one.